Shalom on Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders and bishops at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the home for elect, 944,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel. We saw our Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Back with another lesson. I'll title this one, uh, The Scriptures Give Us Hope. The Scriptures Give Us Hope. Call along Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Call along Yimla Alahayin Nawal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And something that's on my spirit, and as the title reads, the scriptures give us hope. And the Lord promised. You know, you know Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. Who the world he only calls Jesus Christ. You know, he, he promised us, man, that um, he was coming back in great glory and might. Um, and to all, you know, to to uh, to crush our enemies um, and to protect and deliver the elect out of his people. You know, um, you know, a mighty um, great miraculous um, miracles and uh, wonders are, are going to be shown in the end here because you know we, we, we need the Lord more than ever in this end time we, we, we see um, you know uh, the food shortages the economy is about to crash. Um, all the wars and commotions that are going on. The, the Lord told us all of this was going to happen. And, and to look out for it and watch, pray and watch. And it's happening. You know. Um, but we, you know, we, we, need the, we need the Lord more than ever, man. And... Um, because the, the the squeeze, you know, the squeeze is get is gonna get tighter. It's gonna the squeeze is gonna get it's gonna get so tight, you know, and you're gonna be forced into a corner, and you're gonna have to make a decision because we know, um, we know the the, the MOTB, the RFID, the micro C hip is 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 here. We're just waiting for it to be made mandatory. The mark where no man can buy or sell. That is a major prophecy. Because without that RFID, that mark, the, the MOTB, it, without that, you, you will not be able to buy or sell. You will not be able to purchase no food, get no jobs, get no home. You won't be able to do none of that. You're going to be labeled an outcast from society. Right along with the persecution that's that's coming, you know, um, the famine, all these diseases. Well, we, you know, we need the Lord. We need Him more than ever in this end time. Homelessness. A lot of us is about to be homeless. You know, stripped from everything. For, for the Lord's sake, man. But the Lord promised he was going to make a way. The Lord promised to his true servants out of his people that he was going to make a way for his elect and ultimately to be delivered out of this thermonuclear fire that's coming in this third world's war. Let me go here. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Let me go here. This is just a quick hit, something that's on my spirit. The days are speeding up. We're already entering uh, the fall. And here it is going into 2025. The hopeful year of uh, Jacob's trouble. It is, I mean, it is, it, is, it is more vital than ever to be getting your spirit right. You know, and seeking the Lord 
a hundred times more. Let me go here. Um, Cause it, it's a war on faith right now. It's a, it's a war on your faith. That the, the test of your faith is coming. The ultimate test in this hour of temptation. Um, let me go to Romans. Romans. Um, Romans. Romans 15. Romans 15. Um, Romans 15 and 4. And it reads, it says, it says, for whatsoever, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. You see, these things were written a long ago. These teachings, man, were written uh, for us a long time ago. It says, um, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, see, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So the, these, uh, you know, these scriptures, these uh, teachings were written a long time ago to, uh, um, you know, uh, to give us hope, man, in this end, to, uh, 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 you know, encourage us, to give us encouragement because the Lord made a promise. And he made this promise roughly over 2,000 years ago that he was coming back to deliver the elect out of his people and, and, to, and to redeem uh, his people, um, you know, to restore ultimately overall his people uh, forever in the kingdom. Right here on earth, right there in Jerusalem. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, the tribes, Jacob, he promised this. And we are to uh, uh, be patient. And this is why if you got a hold of this truth, this knowledge, man, this wisdom, you, you can't let go. And, and now is the time more than ever to be uh, really into the scriptures and seeking him more than ever and storing this up in your, in your mind. Because uh, a great deal of oppression and, um, you know, uh, um, persecution is coming. But it says, I'll read it one more time. It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. It says that we through patience. Patience means to suffer. Through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So, you know, uh, uh, these scriptures constantly give us comfort. You know, whenever you're doing bad, you go and read the, the, the scriptures. They, it, it, it comforts you. This is our place of refuge, our, our place of peace. The Lord told you to be uh, harmless as doves and wiser than serpents. Let me go here. I'll close out with this. But the Lord is, is coming back. And in this end here, he's going to, uh, you know, he's going to show his hand. He's he going to make a way for his elect through this time of danger. And, and, and they're going to be delivered out of this. Lord willing, I am part of the hopeful elect. Lord willing. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, please, please, please. Anya Ma'ama Yun, I believe. I believe. Anya Ma'ama Yun, I believe. Let me let me close out with this. Um, First Corinthians. Uh, 
1 Corinthians 10 and 11. I'll close out with this. It says, and it reads, it says, now all, all these things happened. See, now all these things happened unto them for, for an example. And they are written for our and, and mention and they are written from for our admission upon whom the ends of the world are come see so all these uh, 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 you know different uh, story you know different uh, uh, stories and um, you know uh, uh, things that happen you know from the beginning all the way leading up into the end they're, they're, you know, they're, they're uh, for our, uh, they're an example for us, man. To, um, you know, to teach, to, to show us, you know, you know what to do and what not to do, and ultimately, in the end here, in this end time, you know. It says, now all these things happen unto them for an example, and they are written for our admission upon whom the ends of the world are come. Shalom.